Okay, your blonde bombshell with you. I'm here tonight being Donna, the blonde bombshell that I am. We're not discussing PCOS, although we will later. Not tonight, but at another time. Um, I'm addressing my inbox on Facebook. I had to block some people because I was getting weird messages that I didn't understand. Um, and then I had some questions that bothered me on the forefront. Like my weight. I know I've gained weight. I don't need people to rub it in or say that you can definitely tell it in my pictures. That just makes me more self-conscious. Um, I am now definitely a lot harder on myself watching my weight. In fact, I got sick today. But I still worked. And um, I'm just trying to stay positive right now. Um, there were some interesting questions that did come to my inbox on Facebook, and I'm going to address them right now. One was, um, do you think one of the reasons that you are single right now is because of trust issues, or do you think it's because of your family? Um, maybe a little bit of both, actually, to be honest. Um, I would say my trust issues are deep, and it's hard for me to trust. But to contend with my family, I love them deeply, but it would be a lot to take them on. Uh, they want the best for me, obviously, but sometimes they can be a lot to contend with. Um, they're very old-fashioned country people, and there's nothing wrong with that. Um, they have Christian beliefs, nothing wrong with that. As for my trust issues, you would have to really know me to know my trust issues. I um, have trust issues, it, it stems back to my dad just abandoning me and my mother at the time, uh, not knowing where he went, uh, if he was safe. Um, to this day, we don't talk, there's no communication with my dad. Um, He's in, I don't know where at, so best wishes to wherever you are at. Um, and of course, the trust issues I have, let, let's look at my track record with men. There's been lying to me, deceiving me. I begin to trust them, and then it just falls to pieces. So I'm better off right now being single because I haven't met a guy yet like I said before, that doesn't lie, doesn't cheat, doesn't look at you in the face, smile, and stab you in the back and the heart. If there's a man out there that can honestly be a good, honest Christian man, there's your challenge. I haven't met one yet. Um, do, do I think that, my, that men are intimidated by me? You know what? Maybe they are. And if they are, then they're not the man for me, because, um, <laughs> let's face it, I may be all rough, tough, and hard as nails sometimes, but I'm still a woman at heart, and, um, there's nothing wrong with having a wall up right now around my emotions, because I don't trust, uh, men right now. Um, like I said, I've been hurt a lot of times. And you can smile at me and sweet talk me all you want. But deep down, I'm always going to wonder, am I the only one or is there somebody else out there that you're going to when you're not with me? And I don't like that feeling. Um, which is why I picked up this next song. And um, I'm going to sing it right now. I Like I said, I've been sick today, so obviously I can't work out tonight, which... I'm beating myself up on it already, but I'm like going, okay, look, I ate very light today. In fact, I didn't even have any salad at all because of my stomach. So, um, we're going to sing this song right now. It's called, Am I Not Pretty Enough? Maybe I'm not. Here we go. Am I not pretty enough? 
Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try harder? I live, I breathe, I let it rain on me. I sleep, I wake, I try hard not to break. I crave, I love, I've waited long enough. I try as hard as I can. Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? I laugh, I feel, I make believe it's real. I fall, I freeze, I pray down on my knees. I hope, I stand, I take it like a man. I try as hard as I can. Am I not pretty enough? Is my heart too broken? Do I cry too much? Am I too outspoken? Don't I make you laugh? Should I try it harder? Why do you see right through me? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see right through me? What do you see? What do you see? What do you see right through me? Okay, well, we'll see how this one turned out, and, um, you know, it, it, it is hard for me to trust, you know, like I said, let's go back to my father, and he may not like this video if he ever watches it, but that's okay. This is my video diary, and I'm going to use it to my satisfaction. When I trusted him, um... When he left my mom, that whole big shake-up, break-up thing was definitely bad for me. I, I mean, honestly, I tried my best to get them to work it out to a point where I actually told my mom, no, let him go, let him leave. And then he deceived all of us, and then one night, he just left. No note, no nothing. When I did get him on the phone before the divorce actually happened, he was like, well, you know, things are going to work out. We're still going to be in touch, yada, 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 yada. That didn't work out. Okay, so then for the longest time, I didn't really want to let another man into my life, and I was scared to let another man into my life because um, I was thinking to myself, what's the use? They're just going to leave anyway. So, inner Mike. And at first, I kept him a distance. I told him, you know, we're never going to be really serious. This is just something until one of us finds somebody else. And honestly, I did tell him that. And then I started letting my heart believe in him and putting my faith in him, which I always say if you're in a relationship, you're, you're supposed to be bringing out the best in the other person. So I thought that that's what I was doing. I was creating a future with us. Little did I know, eight and a half years later, he was busy, God knows how long he'd been doing this behind my back with his best friend's wife. Now, that 
created the trust issue, another trust issue. So as you can see, these trust issues, they build up to a point where the next guy, God help him, he's going to have a mountain of mohill to move through because I probably, <sighs> Mike told me at the end that I was a control freak. And I find that kind of funny because we were long distance. How could I be a control freak when I wasn't really right there to control anything? And the next one, we'll just call him that because I don't want to have any problems with him. He was busy flirting with all my friends on Facebook and making friends with my mother to even want to talk to me. So there was no point there. And, you know, there comes a point, you know, you're like going, okay, I'm losing this weight. I want to be healthy. I want to be able to have my own kid. But at the same time, I don't want to scare the guys out because I'm too physically fit or because I'm too talkative, too babbling, too public with you all. I don't know. Pick an excuse because that's all they are. Guys out there today can think of a hundred excuses, but the one thing that's on their mind and this is the God's honest truth. The only thing that they are thinking about is how quick they can get you into bed. I have not met one man yet that does not talk about looks or physical appeal. That, um, that they don't look at the inner soul, the inner person. What makes that person tick? What kind of music do they like? Who's their favorite wrestler? I like wrestling. Yeah, I'm a little bit of a tomboy, but I'm a challenge. And so I guess it's a blonde bombshell challenge if you fall in love with me because I'm too much of a control freak and I love to talk and watch wrestling and, and I don't know. It's like that song says, am I not pretty enough? And I'm thinking to myself, okay, can I add more? What, is it my hair? Is it, you know, sometimes I really just wish there was a a page for guys to to like be like okay here's what you can do for us to be interested in you because maybe it would work better um maybe i was too sheltered in my life one of the exes pointed that out at one point because i don't i am very firm in my christian beliefs let's put it that way and you know what if that's a bad thing i guess i'll always be single but I just wonder, and I'm trying not to question God on this. I've struggled so hard to get here. I have worked my keister off to get here. And I do want to get married. And I do want children. But is there a man out there who's man enough can handle the blonde bombshell? That is the thought I'll leave you with tonight. May you all have a wonderful tomorrow. God bless.